Hello and welcome to this week's devotion. My name is Wanja and I'll be sharing with you something that we can focus on today. Uh, in the month of January, Nairobi Chapel's Yokimao went through a series called Life on Mission. And I want to share with you the mission of someone whose life was perfect and he showed us such a good example on how to live a life on mission. Mission statements are not new for us as Kenyans. Almost every public institution and school has a mission statement. And I'm sure your school had one, and you've seen them usually along the lines of striving for excellence or thrive and be your best, or my personal favorite, besta to be your best. Um, this week, I'm going to share with you a verse, Luke 4, uh, verse 18 to 19. And this is Jesus's mission statement. And in his own words, he says, the spirit of the Lord is on me because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery for sight of the blind, to set the oppressed free and to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. This was his mission statement, which he gave. And Jesus had a very interesting life. Perhaps you've heard of him, perhaps you haven't. But the unique thing about Jesus is that he wasn't fully human. He was fully God and fully human at the same time. He existed since the beginning of time and he was there um, before even the world was created. Um, when, G when God made the world and we had humanity, it was perfect. It was good. There was no sin. Everything was bliss and harmonious. But then we as humans made a mistake. We went against God's will and sin became, uh, came into the world. And sin is basically anything we do that is against God's will or God's standard. Now the problem was that the wages of sin is death. The salary, the due payment of sin is death. And we as humans became, uh, we got into trouble. We got ourselves into a fix where we were condemned to die. We were doomed to die and we had no way to save ourselves. But God, in his mercy and his love, looked down and saw this broken humanity caught in a fix. And he loved us and said, you know what, I'm going to save you guys. And so he sent his son, Jesus. Jesus came down to earth as a man and he lived the perfect life. He made no mistake. He lived out his mission statement in a flawless way and he did it absolutely perfectly. And he who uh, did not deserve death decided to give up his life for us anyways and he died on the cross and he did this crazy radical thing where he switched he took upon his own shoulders the wages we had earned which was death and he in exchange gave us his life and freedom which he had and um he goes on to say that now if we believe with our mouths and if we believe in our hearts and confess with our mouths that jesus is lord that we will be saved now, many people think the story ends here, but it actually goes on because Jesus is still living his mission statement. He's still setting captives free. He's still opening the eyes of the blind. He's still uh, releasing the oppressed. And he invites us to join him on his mission to do that. And I want to challenge you in two ways this week on joining Jesus on his mission, even as we live our lives. Number one, if you haven't given your life to Christ, I want to just invite you to do so. And giving your life to Christ means that you're going to do things and make decisions based on his preferences and his will, that you'd allow him to be your Lord and your God, that you would say, I'd rather do it this way, but Lord, I'm going to do it your way because you love me and you know best. If that's a decision you want to make, reach out to us with our details in the description box below and we'll reach out to you. Secondly, if you have already given your life to Christ, I want to invite you this week to be bold and courageous and share the testimony, share your testimony and the gospel with at least one person. It could be verbally, it could be on a written message, it could be on your Instagram status, however you choose, reach out and let people know about this radical exchange that Jesus made and join him on that mission to let people know about the life they can have in him. May it be that every single person in your life has come to know about the gospel, whether they choose it for themselves or not, that's not on you, but that you would just be able to stand before God and say, this person was in my life and I told them about Jesus. So that's my challenge for you this week. And I pray that God gives you the boldness and the courage to do it and to join Jesus on living out his mission statement. Be blessed.